What is going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is The Glitter Fairy and I live stream right here on YouTube as well as Twitch six days out of the week. As always, if you guys do enjoy this video, if you do find it helpful, uh, feel free to drop a like and of course subscribe. Now, as I'm sure you are well aware of, the Guardian Games has officially started this week, a competition between the Warlocks, Titans, and Hunters to basically see who can turn in the most medals over the course of three weeks. And one of those medals happens to be a gold medal for simply completing bounties. Weekly bounties give you four points, daily bounties give you two points, and the additional bounties only give you one point. Now, of course, on the very first day, it's pretty simple to knock out the weekly bounties, but as far as the rest of the week goes, you're kind of stuck doing daily bounties and additional bounties. But when it comes to a specific warlock bounty called Void Feast, as a void walker using attunement of hunger, defeat enemies with devour in streaks of 10 or more. Now, when I picked this bounty up on day one, it actually seemed pretty obvious on what you needed to do. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the way devour works, essentially cooking a grenade in your hand or simply getting a melee kill will activate devour for 10 seconds. As long as you get a kill within that 10 second period, it then extends the timer back up to the 10 second mark. So, taking a look at the bounty, it kind of seems pretty obvious that you simply need to kill 10 enemies with keeping the devour streak going. But after multiple attempts and going to different locations, whether it was in public areas, whether it was in gambit or strikes, this bounty was just not getting completed. Now, I really didn't pay it any mind on the first day. Like I said, we had the weekly bounties, so there really wasn't any worry to try to get these extra two points. But going into day two and day three, I noticed the bounty reappeared. And since I didn't want to just keep dismantling this bounty every single day, I tried to go ahead and figure out exactly what we needed to do to get it done. And believe it or not, it's actually a lot simpler than what they kind of made it seem. Simply getting a melee kill will activate Devour, and you simply are going to need to kill 10 enemies with 10 different Devour melees without dying. So it does seem pretty simple, but obviously that right there can take you some time. If you actually sit there and wait for each of your melee abilities to charge up, this bounty can actually take you, you know, probably 10, 15, maybe 20 minutes, depending on what your strength stat is. But with making a few simple changes to your Warlock, you can actually get this bounty done in just a few minutes. So the very first thing you're going to want to do is put on the exotic gauntlets, the Claws of Ahamkara. These gauntlets alone will gain an additional melee charge. So you're basically going to be able to load into an area and already have two Devour melee charges ready to use. On top of that, you're going to want to go ahead and put on the exotic auto rifle, the Monte Carlo for in your primary slot. The main intrinsic trait on this one is dealing damage with this weapon, reduces your melee cooldown, and actually it grants a chance to fully charge your ability with each kill. So after you put on the exotic gauntlets and you put on the auto rifle, you're simply going to load up into an area that has a public event that is about to start within the next minute or two. You're going to go into the area. You're you're going to get your two melee kills. Then you're just going to head over and rally to the flag, which is going to give you another two melee kills. And then after you use those, simply run around with the Monte Carlo and start getting your melee cooldown back. And if you really want to speed things up, simply adding a strength perk to each of your pieces of gear. If you can get it up to a tier 10, you're looking at about a 32 second cooldown between each melee. And then the biggest thing, of course, is not dying while trying to go on these 10 kill streaks. So the bounty actually, like I said, you can really get it done in just a few minutes by using this method here instead of having to go in and wait 15, 20 minutes for all your abilities to recharge. So I hope this video did help you out. I hope this bounty can get done a little bit quicker now for a lot of you and you're not dismantling it like I did on the very first day thinking that, you know, maybe it's glitched, maybe it can't get done. Uh, so the bounty does work and like I said, it's a lot simpler than what a lot of people made it out to seem. So hope you guys did enjoy. Of course, do drop a like down below if you did. Other than that, I'll see you guys all in the next one.